I think maybe the easiest is to start at the beginning. Yeah. You, you mentioned the last time that the history of Malgashi filmmaking is actually quite old. Yeah. You said the first film was in 1937. 1937 yeah. yeah. And that in the 80s or so, there yeah. was a break. Yes, yeah. So I would, I would love to understand that a little bit also in the context of what got you into filmmaking. Okay, myself. Mm. Uh, <laughs> I, st you know, I, st I, I, I lived the country uh, in 1997, something like this, to go to Montreal. Uh, I, I went there for a journalist, you know, for a study of journalism. And like four months later, uh, I, I went to Paris for cinema. Uh, so I studied cinema in Paris for six years, almost six years. I lived in Paris for eight years or something. And uh, so I, you know, the, the first film that I, I, I have seen in the, in the cinema was in Paris. Uh, oh. And it was, uh, you know, in the theater, I mean, but I, I, I've already seen the film you know, on TV or something, but in the cinema, the real one was in Paris when I was uh, 16 and a half years old. <laughs> because here there was no cinema when I, when I lived here. And the first film I saw was uh, Citizen Kane. I know uh, Citizen Kane. Wells, yeah. In the beginning, I understood nothing at all. <laughs> But uh, I think the technique of cinema was when, uh, not with that film, but uh, when I was in, uh, at school uh, with um, one of the teachers, you know, he, he sent us for an exercise uh, because the, the study that I, that I did was a uh, journalist reporter d'image. So you go and with your camera and you make something. And I, 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 I was filming a um, uh, clochard, someone in the subway. And when the teachers saw what, I, what, what I've done, he said, why you don't make a film? So it was like this, mm -hmm. uh, because there was no film here uh, when I was young. You but had no idea about the history of Malgashi film at the time? Nothing at all, yeah. Uh, so the cinema, the world, you know, the. The cinema, the declic was with that teacher, I think. Uh, but later, uh, when I tried to understand exactly, uh, it was maybe because of my father. Because my when when there was uh, when there still was a cinema in Madagascar in the 80s, uh, 90s, my father was a projectionist in the Ritz here. Uh, you know, there is a cinema here, and I I. I remember at home, he uh, he set up like a, a screen, you know, uh, um, for projection. Yes, for projection. So I I think maybe there is a, a little of that as well. Uh, but your father must have known the films from here. Uh, yes, but say? I didn't really uh, know my father. Uh, okay. He left mm. when I was eight years old or something. Okay. So, but I am sure that there is a, a little connection. of that. Yeah. 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 So I studied in Paris. I, I, I made a two school in Paris. Uh, and then I decided to, to come back here and try to make things happen. Which you did. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, the, yeah. I don't know how old the company is, but the festival's been running for 10 years, yes. which is yes. substantial. Yes. The company, even when I when I was a student, I I already started the company here. Uh, so this company, I created it in 2000 when I was in second year, you know, when I was still a student, because uh, I I bought some cameras and you know a laptop for editing, and we made clips and all these you know video clips for musicians and all those things mm. at that time. Uh, and most of them we, we shoot in Paris, you know, whenever there is a Malagasy artist who come in Paris, because yeah. they love, you know, to, to have in the background the Tour Eiffel, the, 
so they can say, ah, Paris, the video clip in Paris. So we made a lot of those uh, video clips at that time. Uh, so I started with video clips. Uh, and the idea for the festival, how did that... The idea for the festival, when I, when I decided to... Uh, it was not um, a simple decision, you know, to, to come back home. And, uh, but anyway, I decided to come back because of other, other family matters as well. Uh, so when I, when I came back here, the, the thing that I missed the most was to, to talk about cinema. You know, even to, there was nobody to talk, ah, how, what do we think about this film? What do we think about uh, shooting? Nothing of this, you know. So in Paris, I used to, to talk every day about film, about uh, filmmaker, about uh, producing, about everything. But here, there was nothing at all. So I missed that a lot. So I, and in the beginning, I, I, um, I make a copy of all my uh, course, you know, at school, and I, 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 I ask to people to come, uh, and I give them my, the copy of my courses. Uh, so it was for me uh, a way to, to get in touch with people who, who are interested in cinema. And I, sc I made a, uh, my first uh, feature film, uh, video. It was shooting with a video camera, and uh, the length was uh, one hour and fifty-three uh, <laughs> minutes. It was a very long film. <laughs> uh, so I I screened this film, uh, and then we started to, to to talk about you know uh, my film with the people who. who what came. was it about? It was about I called it Tana 2003. 2003. It was about uh, my uh, perception of the, the country in 2003. Uh, I was planning at that time to make Tana 2004, 5, 6. I've never made that. <laughs> uh, it was more complicated than I, I've imagined. Uh, but I, I, I saw the film like uh, two or three years ago, and it, it was still actual, you know, what I'm talking. Uh, but. There are many problems with, you know, technical problem and everything with that film. I, I don't show it uh, that much now, uh, but this this is my real uh, feature length uh, film. Yeah. So I've made this. I tried to screen. We we screened it a lot in Paris, you know, in France and even in Italy. Uh, we made like a tour with the film. And when I came back with this uh, tour with the film, I wanted to to make something, you know, uh, more than making a film. And the idea of a festival came. I, I already have some friends who make a festival, who set up a festival in Berlin, in Paris. I used to go to Cannes Film Festival every year, even if I had once I had a film in. Uh, uh, the library of short film, uh, they call it the short, uh, there is a section of short films so you can put a film there. So I, I, I used to have a short film there and so I make some contact uh, in, yeah, inside this uh, festival of the country. So I, I decided to start the festival here, a short film, and I always remember the, my first meeting with the um, the director of uh, the French Institute, because the French Institute is one of the... I think it is the only organization which is really serious about culture and where there is money for for cultural thing. So I go, I went there and the, the, the woman told me uh, how you can make a festival in a country where there is no filmmaker. It was not. Uh, it was not completely uh, false. You know, it was true. Um, but uh, I said, "Hey, yeah, let's just try." I put some money to the festival in the beginning, my personal money. So we start the thing like this, and uh, one of the, the, the important uh, points in the beginning is uh, 
I, I made an interview in the TV station and I lied, you know, I say that uh, <laughs> if, if you participate, if you send your film, we can send you to, uh, to you know, abroad, you can send you to La Réunion or in France or so, because, you know, in a, when you live in an island like this, your obsession is to, to go somewhere, to, to, to go out of the country. So it was like an obsession. So whenever you say that you can go abroad, it was like, so in the, in the, in the first edition, we, we had uh, 35 uh, submission. And uh, there was one animation film, it was like, it was crazy. You know, we, we, we never thought that there is 35 short film in 2006. And uh, when we saw the, you know, this kind of, uh, 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 this kind of um, engouement, you know, this kind of uh, engagement or excitement. Yes, excitement. Yeah. We say, okay, let's let's do the second edition, and uh, and so we started like this. And what did the French say after the first one? They said it is a very good project. Let's continue, and they put more money. Yeah. At the beginning, we, it was just for two days. And uh, I think the, the second edition, we made uh, five days. So, you know, immediately, we, we started to, to make it more serious. But now, after the first one, you didn't really send people anywhere. So they submitted... So we sent, you know, <laughs> between the time that I made, I made this uh, announcement on the TV, we, we tried to, to find really this... Uh, a price, you know, the, and we sent the first one to La Reunion. It is not so far, mm -hmm. and we had some contact there who wanted to do to pay, and uh, so we started like this, and then we started to have another partnership with other country, and uh, and now we have like uh, six sixty five partners uh, wow. from all over the world, so we can send filmmakers everywhere. We. And the submissions you get from local filmmakers now, like this last year, compared to the it, 35 it is, you started with? It is now stabilized at uh, 60, okay. sort of, yeah. animation, documentary and uh, fiction. The objective of the festival is, is clear for, for me. It is to help the filmmaking, to help filmmakers, in my, Malagasy filmmakers, that's why till now we didn't open the competition for international or Africa. This year for the 10th edition we, we are starting to open for Africa, uh, the continent and uh, Indian Ocean, because this is only for animation. But this, ten, during 10 years, it, because this is only to make things happen in Madagascar, to help the Malagasy. I think that um, if, because the, most of the time people ask me why it is only for, and I think that if if the Malagasy, if uh, if there is a less problem, you know that if how can I say this properly? Uh, if if the if the Malagasy cinema works, mm -hmm. it is a, a problem less problem for African cinema. And uh, there, there are many other festivals. If, if you want to see your level uh, in Africa, there is FESPACO, there is other festival who, and I think that this is a way for me to, to participate to the development of African cinema as well. Mm -hmm. So try first to see in your country, in your house, what is the problem, in, and then you can think about uh, the other people. And so that, that's why, um, there are many workshops because there is no uh, cinema school here. So during the festival, mo most of the time people, you know, in the street ask me, when will be the, the, the cinema course, the cinema session uh, start? Mm -hmm. they, they, they are asking this because during the fest this is maybe the, this is the only uh, opportunity for them to 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 have a, a serious uh, formation, you know, workshop about cinema during these nine days. So for many people here, this is the this is this is a pity, but this is the way it is. Uh, so we try. So every all 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 the our our international guests, we have now 
uh, around 20 international guests. They came to share, they came to meet. This is not even to teach, but to share. Uh, because in nine days you can you cannot teach anything. You, you just can share something. And this is a mentality, you know, this is a way of thinking that I try to to explain to all our guests. Uh, so, yeah, so th th that's why there, there are many workshops. Uh, most of, you know, even maybe all the activities, I, I call activities, you know, the screening, is the aim of everything is to... to to help the filmmakers, to help the industry, to help producers, to help all the different part of the making film to to grow up or something like this. Yeah. The, the competition is other thing. And uh, besides of the competition, there are many workshops. It can be about uh, directing, about lighting, many things. And there is a, a special one that we call Tikino. Uh, so inside this, this this workshop, we produce film. We are making film during four days, uh, and during four days we can have many films, and we screen as well all the film that we produce during this specific uh, workshop. Uh, and then there are other uh, projects that we call the Serasari Found. This is a found that we created. So we, we, we make a, a call you know, uh, for entries. We ask people to send a project. We select two or three, and uh, we produce it during six months or something. And we screen the film that we produced during the festival as well. So for example, next year for the 10th edition, we are going to screen the film that we produce now. So the, the project this year we are going to screen next year in 2020. And we, we, um, we send the film to other festival and uh, sometimes we, we earn money with the film. So we can, so the money that we earn with the film, even for the screening fees or something, we, we, we take this money and we put it in the fund and we can make another film. So it is a kind of, um, a little industry, mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, even if it is only two or three films a year, uh, there yeah. is a production. So, and the way that you produce also is very particular for for the festival side of things. Yes. Yeah. Can you explain how the whole budget and software thing works? Because I think it's it fascinating. Is, you know, uh, I think one of the important thing here as well is. We are working together all the time. There is uh, maybe 20, let's say, uh, group of uh, filmmakers, new generation. People used to call this new generation RFC, Generation RFC. RFC is the name of the festival uh, because we used to work all the time together. If you, if you look at the credits, you have almost the same name <laughs> because the film... This is a, uh, a group project all the time, and especially for animation, uh, because the, um, you know that uh, the, the, this program is uh, really expensive, so we download the demo version of the program. We download sometimes the, the um, uh, you know, the, the tutorial, and we make the film uh, like this. Uh, so, <laughs> so, 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 but everybody's working with everybody. Uh, and I think it, it is really cool because uh, there is, there, even if there is a competition inside the festival, this is the, um, for a festival who have a competition, it is important. But for the filmmakers, it is, there is even no competition because everybody is working with the film of everybody. Yeah. This is most of the time the question, how are we producing this? Uh, and f for example, there is a film, uh, there is a festival of a uh, school in, in France. And we've been there with one of our animation film. And 
Uh, it was funny because uh, you know, so there was many schools who came and say, ah, I made my film in six months, one year. And <laughs> you are with, with, the, with the Malagasy filmmaker because he made this in, <laughs> in like uh, uh, three weeks because we are working together and then three weeks. And say, are we going to say three weeks or we are in no Say, ah, four months. <laughs> Not to be. <laughs> To be quite the same, you know, because we are making three weeks. When you say, no, we, are, we made this three weeks, and they, they, they didn't believe. Because, you know, they, they have their way of doing things, their uh, official way of this, uh, one day, one people doing this. And, but we are working together all the time, and people are. Uh, Everybody is uh, doing everything, to, uh, you know. For example, I can draw, the other one can draw. We, we can do everything. And I think it helps as well uh, to make it faster. Uh, and, and, and uh, you know, the, 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 this way of making, especially animation film, really quick is a specificity of here as well. This is, you know, the result, we don't, this is not, uh, Pixar thing. We are we are not trying to make a Pixar movie because we don't care. <laughs> we have our way of make. Uh, how what is the animation for us? Even the animation is not you know the uh, how you say it, the 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 conventional thing. Conventional. Yeah. Yes. We don't care, we just want to tell our story in our way. And we are happy with that. And it gives like a style, you know, like a style, like a, a way of Malakasi making a thing. And I, I don't want to broke this. You know. is, is your sense that animation is for the kinds of stories that Malagasy filmmakers want to tell? Is animation sort of the ideal type of filmmaking versus documentary versus yeah, fiction? I think so. I think this is because even if we are making fiction and a documentary, uh, with the animation there is a special thing. There is a... Even when we are making the animation film, there is a special mood. You know, there is a kind, there is a special thing. Uh, and we are not copying, we are not... Uh, make a copy-paste of what we see in the internet. We are trying to create in something. Because with fiction film, the tool is the same, you know, the, the, this, the, the different thing is only the way how you tell the story. Uh, but you cannot reinvent the cinema. But with the animation film, we, we feel like we are reinventing something, at least the way of how we make animation film. Uh, at least the, the <laughs> yeah, the way, at least the, the, the method. Because it is not, the, the, I think this is typical from mm -hmm. here. Because we have to deal with uh, the, 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 the power cut, for example. <laughs> we have to deal with many things. Because so we don't have the big machine, we don't have, the result is there, uh, and this is, I think this this is really different. This is because you know, when I when I send the, you know those guys to the to, uh, to those um, prestigious uh, animation school, okay, they saw things there, they understand more how it works, but when they came back, it was uh, uh, an experience, you know, one experience more, but. We are not trying to do like them uh, because we don't have the money, we don't have the machine, we don't have all the computers. This is this is a good thing to to understand how people are doing, but our way of doing our film is stay the same. We we just try to improve, you know, how we're doing this. So I think it is one of the point, this way of working together. This way of uh, thinking, we know that we have the same problem. We know that uh, 
right now the government give nothing even for the festival we, we are still struggling you it's know. all money from abroad yes it all money from uh, private company from institution from uh, because the festival is totally for free uh, <laughs> and uh, one thing we, which was um, you know made me angry once was uh, when I was talking with a responsible in the government and I tried you know to to tell him that we need money for the festival we need things and he said and he, you know I said that uh, it's supposed to be the work of the of this office to make a festival and he said that uh, they don't do this because we are already doing this <laughs> it wow. is uh, I think it is, you know, the, the kind of uh, mentality of many government in Africa. Uh, uh, the government and the government, like, they, they don't give it, you know, yeah. they are not interested in this. Um, the, the, the culture is not their priority. And if, 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 I, if I want to tell you that, to, to give you some numbers, you know, for example, the, the budget for cultural, for the Ministry of Cultural, is not even one percent of the, 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 the budget of everything. Uh, and that's for all art? That's yes, not that is, yeah, this is for... <laughs> because we know that there is money here, you know, we know that... So even, you know, a little person, you know, we know that there is a money. Mm. We see every day there is a money. Yeah. Uh, so because sometimes it is really difficult, you know, even to. I've, I've been made this festival for ten years, but yeah, <laughs> it is it is not simple. It is every t every year. I feel like it is the, it will be the the last edition, uh, and when I when I look at the other festival, you know the with the same level and the same uh, public, most of them, the government or the mayor gave money to help, at least to help. I'm not asking for all the budget, <laughs> but at least just a little bit and, and sometimes, and I think that this is the responsibility uh, and you know what? What they just do is to give us uh, the. For example, last year they gave me the Chevalier de l'Ordre. Okay, uh, this is <laughs> this is this is cool, but uh, doesn't pay the bill. Yeah. So you know they have no, Yeah, thank you. Doing things, but this this is supposed to be your work. Uh, and I don't you know. Sometimes I'm saying that. Uh, what if if I'm not doing this? So what's happened? And clearly nothing. <laughs> and as I say, that the problem is we are only no. I only know how to make film. This is I'm condamné à faire des films. <laughs> so I, I take it in the in the in the best way and the best side of the. But I think that this is the responsibility. They are paid for that, and there is the money for that. Uh, so anyway, we are going to make film. We are making work workshop. We are producing, and we, are, uh, we distribute the film that we produce. So between two festivals, there are many things which happen because now. The filmmakers, they have their film in, other, in the other festivals, so they travel with their film. I think this is also one of the things, one of our objectives was, you know, to just to, to say to the world of cinema that we, we exist. It's like say, hey, we, we make films as well. And I think that now we reach this, uh, this objective because uh, if you were in the Venice, Cannes, Berlinale, all those, uh, even in the little section, we don't care. Mm -hmm. We we are there. People, we can say that the Malagasy cinema exists now mm -hmm. in this. Uh, <laughs> but tell the story big. about. Um, you told me a story about screening one of 
the Malgashi movies. And there was competition because at the same time there was another movie screened. I can't remember which one. Yeah. What was the story? It was in Fribourg. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we, uh, we made, uh, we, we have, uh, we screen, we have eight uh, sessions of Malagasy film there. And uh, there was also uh, Les Frères Tartén. Uh, so at the same time, quite the same time, Uh, there is a screening of the Frères Tardin movies and uh, a Malagasy uh, screening. So I was, uh, you know, I, I thought that there would be nobody to, to come to our film because Les Frères Tardin to <laughs> uh, 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 Price in Cannes, you know, La, La Palme d'Or, the two, two parts. So I say, okay. There is, and uh, the thing was, uh, All the people came to our screening and there was maybe two or three <laughs> to the screening of the Frère d'Arten. So I say, yeah, okay, people are curious. And, uh, and the film that we, we showed there uh, talk really about the situation here. Mm -hmm. And uh, one thing that it was really touching for me in Fribourg, especially in this festival, was, you know, the people in the street, they recognize you. And they came and talk about your film, which is really, you know, you said that, okay, you know, you, you feel really like a filmmaker. You say, ah, I make a film. You, you watch my film and we can talk about it. Yeah. It's like a proud, you know, we were proud with that. Mm -hmm. And it is, a, you know, a source of motivation Absolutely. as well. Absolutely. Uh, I, I say that during 25 years, there was no cinema here, mm -hmm. or everything were closed. And uh, we, we want to remind that there is a story, there is uh, people who made films before and how they made it and uh, how, that, how did they work. Uh, and even now, because there are they, all this uh, older generation of filmmakers, the two of them passed away two years ago and now we have only one of them. The last one, Raymond, <laughs> Uh, you know, he is really involved with this new generation. Uh, I invite him every day. He is even the para of the festival yeah. for like life. Patron. Yes. Yeah. I say that you are the para à vie du festival. <laughs> so, so, and he share every year, he came and to share everything. Uh, he, he won the prize in Cannes, you know, in 1988. He won the public uh, prize in the Cannes Film Festival. So the film, so there was a level, you know, there was a, a serious level of Madagasi, even if there was not that much, but uh, there was a way of telling the story. Uh, this is a new generation. This is many young people. Yeah. Most, we are, you know, 30, 35 years old. Uh, So we still have time to do many things. Mm. Uh.